one of my co-founders said she wanted to right all the wrongs. And as we explored more, we realized that at the core of everything was lack of finances. People in the countryside needed to be making money. And when you looked at the women's role in all of this, we realized that if when you train a young man at the, the height of his, his life, he wants to go off and explore. But when you trained women, especially women over a certain age, we were in a different place in our life. We wanted to fix the things. We, we were put, we would be staying put. We had grandchildren and we were thinking more of legacy building than we were of exploring and building our own lives. And so we decided we would focus on women. Our aim is to engage 1% of Jamaica's population in, in, the, in women. And we're looking at working primarily in the rural areas where there are no, not many options. If you don't get a job at the supermarket, you're washing somebody's clothes. And if you don't wash somebody's clothes, you get a one day here and one day there because somebody's doing a little bit of construction. And we decided to organize them as contract farmers. We wanted to teach the value of small-scale entrepreneurship and who couldn't handle that, we would try and find meaningful full-time employment for, for them. I'm trying to see if we can assist the less fortunate, help them to earn some living additional to what they may be earning and to see if they can improve their circumstances in every way, their family life, help their children, their community. Now is all about food security and food security really got my interest piqued because it means that we care about the food that we and future generations will be consuming. I realize as a woman too that we can't work alone. We each have some discipline, some gift which we can share. We found that if we work together, we can better help the group instead of just standing alone. And with the expertise which we have among the members of NOW, we could help the various communities.